Okay, so the next item is this three tiered pocket and then there's two extra pockets here. And so this is made of course to go to, into a journal. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out and then I will be right back. Okay, I've got these pieces cut out. And now normally you would glue these into a journal, so you can do that. I'm gonna make mine a freestanding piece. And a page in a journal for me is, I take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I have a quarter of an inch border around the edges. So that leaves me with a journal that is about five and a half by eight. And so, I'm gonna make this just slightly smaller than that so that you could glue it into a journal if you wanted to. So I'm gonna do five and a fourth by seven and a half. And I'm just gonna take some tea stain paper that I have and cut out five, mark off five and a fourth by seven and a half. Five and a fourth up here. be my background to glue these pockets to and you also want to ink the pockets with your distress ink which of course I use vintage photo and you could use a color if you wanted to make it a little more interesting okay so there's my background and so I'm just going to lay it out, make sure that it's the right size and that it fits. So here's your top one. So this one's your second one, and this is your top one up here. Your back behind one. Your top one. Okay. And you can adjust these, like, up and down. That's probably... I like to have these corners stick out. But, I mean, you could go all the way to the top if you wanted to and well it's still going to overlap to fit on there so probably but i mean you could take it all the way to the top but it doesn't give you much of a pocket up here to show whatever's in there but you can do it or if you want it short i mean you can make it pretty short if you wanted to like that so I'm gonna do something in, in between, but, but before I do that, I'm gonna ink everything. So I will probably speed this up <laughs> when I edit this video so you don't have to sit here and watch me ink all this. And actually, you only need to ink the top edges. Like this one, you have to do all the edges. This is only gonna show like a little bit up here where that point is, and then this edge is all that's gonna show. And on this one, the same thing. The, the uh, corner up here is what's gonna show. Okay. And I'm looking at this to see, this is going to show, so I'm going to, I think this is a better side to show and cover this up down here. So I'm going to lay it out like this. And you could take it to the sewing machine and sew it or glue it or a combination of the two. <laughs> I'm going to do that. So see, that was the prettier corner, so that's what's gonna show. And line 
your edges up, line your pocket edges up with each other because they're exactly the same width. This back pocket page is a little bit different, but you want to make sure your edges are covered. So that's how it's going to look. So you need to take your this page, and I'm just going to kind of remember my, I mean, you can mark it if you want. <clears throat> and then just, whoops. <laughs> and my Barely Art Glue Stopper wants to stay with the pin. Okay. So, glue it. I'm going to move it just slightly over so that there's a little bit of an edge on both sides so it's not all on one side. And then look and see where I want this. Again, with the other two pieces, just so it looks more the same spacing. This probably needs to come down a little bit. Like that. Make a little mark here. Put the glue on the three sides. And I'm just kind of eyeballing that, that it's square. I'm, I'm covering both edges so they line up. And then the third one. Taking it pretty much down to the bottom, lining it up with that edge and this edge. there. And then if you want to add a little bit more detail, you can stitch it on your sewing machine. And then that's ready to glue into your journal like that. Okay, so that's that. And then it, it came with these two pockets that have cherries on them. And I don't think I need to explain how those work. <laughs> Let's see. So the other part of the kit are pages of cherry cards. So they're just uh, cut out and used as journal cards. They have, of course, the scriptures on them. And there you go. I think that's pretty much all you need from me as far as using this up. So I hope you like the cherry kit. And... Um, if you do like it, please uh, click the like button and think about subscribing and I'll see you in the next series. Bye-bye.